welcome back to my channel. My name is Eve. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. Uh, today, I wanted to show you a quick chicken tortellini recipe. It's very easy to make. It only calls for a couple of ingredients. It's one of those recipes that you put together and you forget about it, like 15 to 20 minutes. And it's very easy for a busy day and not sure what to cook or you're running around with the kids and you just need like a quick, quick night idea. And here's all the ingredients that you need. So you need uh, uh, some sort of protein. So I'm gonna use a leftover chicken. This is actually drumsticks that I roasted a couple nights ago for dinner and whatever we had left over, I just kind of broke apart um, and it's ready to go. You could use a rotisserie chicken. Next thing you need is any kind of tortellini. This is a urban chicken tortellini. Um, this is the first time I get it. We usually get like the three cheese. This is also a um, 20 ounces. You need spinach. And then um, tomato sauce of your choice. This is just what I have in the fridge, so I'm gonna use that one. Uh, and then cheese, baking dish. The first time I made this dish, I actually boiled the tortellini first, and and then I put it together, and then I realized there is really no need. I kinda am using this recipe on a busy night, uh, when we, you know, I don't have time to put this fancy meal together, so it's really, uh, I'm trying to save steps here and just kind of put it together real quick. So uh, you don't have to boil the pasta first. You just have to add water um, as you put it together. So it has, you know, water to cook in. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the tortellini and I'm gonna use the whole package. And I'm just gonna put them right here. And I'm gonna make sure that they are separated and they don't stick together. And by the way, I'm preheating my oven so it's ready to go when I'm ready to go. Um, and then we're gonna grab some chicken. You can add as much or as little as you would like. It's really your preference here. We're making this as easy as we can. Next, we're gonna add the spinach. Again, same thing here. Um, as much or as little as you would like. Um, we're doing this on a busy night, so nothing fancy. I'm not gonna even get a cutting board out. I'm just gonna break the spinach like this into, I'm kind of removing the little um, stems at the end. Yep, like that, a little more. Next, we're going to add the tomato. And again, I'm going to eyeball this. Like this. Actually, you know what? We could just add the whole thing. That was like three quarters of the jar. And then in here, I'm going to add some um, warm water into the jar just to kind of make sure I get all the the tomatoes and just put put it around like this now before i add everything i want to stir it and kind of see how it looks so let's stir it and see if i need to add more water ideally you want to cover the pasta but not like in a soupy kind of way you just want to make sure that pasta the pasta has enough water to cook Definitely needs more water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add salt. And I boil it like this. I'm gonna put black pepper all over. I'm gonna put some garlic powder. I mean, garlic powder we put in everything. It's so good. And then we'll add the rest of the water. So I added a whole jar of water, really. 
and stir it again. Make sure everything is incorporated. And looking at it, as, as you guys know, I kind of visualize and eyeball things when I cook. I'm gonna add a little more water, probably like half of the jar. That's it. And stir it again. Yep, that's it. So see how it's um, it has enough water for the pasta to cook and absorb as it cooks, but not be, you know, soupy consistency. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese in it as it's cooking. And then I'm gonna add some more cheese on top. And after it bakes, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna turn the broiler on and just add a little more cheese. So that's it for now. So this is how it looks. Super easy to put together and very delicious. And you can really substitute anything in here that you like. Um, I'm kind of thinking you could probably use Alfredo sauce instead of the tomato sauce if your kids don't like tomato sauce. Oh, hi, Zoe. Z, hi. <laughs> Um, before I put it in the oven, I'm going to actually cover it with foil so the pasta cooks quicker. I'm going to bake it for 30 to 40 minutes in the preheated 350 degree oven. Uh, once it's cooked, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put a, a layer of cheese. Um, and then I'm going to just broil it up. And uh, while we wait for the pasta to cook, I wanted to share... Uh, our new fridge. Um, I will insert a footage here of the day we bought it and why we had to buy a new one, unfortunately. Uh, and even though, yes, it's exciting to buy something new, it's also an expense. And most of the times those expenses are unplanned. Okay, so here's our current situation. Um, our fridge broke. <sighs> yes, it's a pain. Um, we have a uh, setup. Uh, this is a fan that's cooling off the back of it. Um, and I am not gonna go into technical terms because I really don't know anything about fridges, <laughs> refrigerators. Um, it just stopped working. Uh, we woke up, everything was off. Uh, we've had it for 17 years, more than, more than that. And um, I guess it was time. Uh, it was his time to go, unfortunately. Uh, so I have not done grocery shopping for a while because um, I don't want to buy all the food and then know where to store it. So we went and we bought a new fridge. It's going to be delivered tomorrow and we're super, super excited. This is kind of, you know, circa 17, 18 years ago. Um, we have a little towel just, just in case. But yeah, um, so we picked a model it's an lg um so tomorrow when they deliver it hopefully everything goes well and it comes tomorrow i will show you guys the new fridge we got just in case you're in the market and looking for one uh, we researched a lot and just kind of knew what we wanted this time around and just something with a bigger freezer space because this is so um you know skinny and not wide and it barely can fit a, a pizza box so i had to improvise always with this uh, freezer we don't have an extra fridge or a freezer in the basement like most people do and it's something that we're gonna um, probably do at some point and just get an extra fridge with a freezer or just a separate freezer or something like this but for now uh, this is what we're dealing with and this is the new fridge uh, so super excited this time we got the LG and then a freezer on the bottom so it's a French door opening, um, looks like this. It's nice and big and very spacious. Uh, and then the freezer is on the bottom, like this. And then it has this section that comes out like that. It's awesome. I, mean, I haven't done a, a full grocery shopping to, um, to kind of fill it up, but the coolest feature um, and it's actually what my husband really wanted. Um, he really wanted this particular model because it has this cool little feature. And you knock on it on the little door and it has a um, like a see-through little section for your beverages or anything you want to grab that is 
um, very convenient here and you don't have to open the whole refrigerator door. So really, obviously, I only have the essentials here <laughs> for now. Uh, some kids drinks, water, uh, coffee, some more juice. Uh, super convenient. And then, of course, you can open the whole uh, door. Um, but just opening this little tiny section here, it's super cool. The kids really, really enjoy it. Now, what I also wanted to show you right here, I bought a couple of um, different organizing um, sections. So this is a little swivel guy, uh, as well as this one, little lazy Susan. I wanna see if I can add our salad dressing or whatnot, we'll see. And then I ha I bought the, everything you see here is from uh, Amazon. I can link it below if you're interested. Um, it's this organizer containers. They look like this. It's a lot of them. So this is how the fridge looks like now. And I'm gonna organize it now. And I'm gonna show you what I come up with afterwards. And here's a quick close up of um, this container set. So it comes with one, two, three, four, five of these large bins which actually could be perfect for the fridge or for anything else. Maybe for under the sink organizers, for the bathroom, under the bathroom sink organizers, even in a room or a vanity, like they're so nice and kind of simple. Um, this is one of the taller ones. Then we have these two little containers with the lid. And then we have this. So let's see how I am able to organize and I'll show you. Okay. This is what it looks like now. Uh, I am so excited. I mean, it is a work in progress. And uh, obviously I need to do grocery shopping. This is just what we have left from switching from one of the, you know, from the old fridge to the new one. So I need to do a grocery shopping for sure. Uh, but for now, this is what it looks like. And I'm very excited. Um, yep, it's telling me to close the doors. So I'm gonna try to do this very quick. Uh, I'm gonna probably switch things around at some point, but for now, this is kind of what we have. Uh, I think it's very cute and it's kind of organized. This is for all the breading and the little pita breads, uh, tortillas. Um, this is for all the uh, dressings that I use. This, these uh, lazy seasons are so cute. I mean, it keeps everything organized. They're not just scattered around the fridge. Uh, super, super nice. Uh, these are our veggies from our garden, eggs, a uh, couple of um, dips and salsas that I had. Uh, another one of the lazy seasons for, you know, butter and cream cheese and stuff. These are some vegetables that I need to tackle, but they kind of stay organized in their little drawers on their own. And same as this. Um, this guy stays pretty organized. So I think that's it for now. I mean, everything kind of fit and whatever I have left, I have a couple of left. I'm going to go and see if I can use them in the bathroom somehow because... Um, okay, okay, I'll close it. Uh, it's so, so kind of nice and feels good when everything is nice and neat and organized. And hopefully we keep it organized. I think that's kind of the idea of this is once it's organized, um, hopefully we keep it that way for some time and the kids will know where to put stuff in. Okay, just took it out of the oven. It looks delicious, doesn't it? I wish you guys can smell it. Um, the pasta is fully cooked. I tried it just to make sure. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add more cheese on top. And this is optional, it's really up to you. And also I forgot to mention, you can really add any cheese you like, any cheese your family prefers. Uh, I just have mozzarella here, but you could add really any shredded cheese that you like. I mean, you could probably do like a fresh mozzarella too, or a combination of cheeses. Um, so really anything, any cheese that you prefer or you have on hand works here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn off the oven. And if you have a broil option on your, uh, on your oven, just turn the broiler on for a little bit. You, what you're looking for is just for the cheese to melt and get all um, golden brown and bubbly and delicious on top. And then it's ready to go. And there it is, out of the broiler. The cheese is nice and melted and golden brown. Uh, my kids really like it a little bit crispier on top, so I keep it for a little longer. Keep it for as long as you prefer. Uh, this is delicious, ready to go uh, and ready for when we are ready, really. Um, took five minutes to put together and then 30 to 40 minutes for it to cook and it's done. I hope you give it a try and I hope you, you like it and come back for more recipes like this. Mm -hmm.